Well, welcome back to another seventh grade drawing session here. Uh, we're uh, pretty well finished with the actual uh, drawing of the city, uh, and now we're in the detailing phase, which will probably be about two more sessions, and then uh, that will be it for the uh, drawing unit. Uh, we will uh, keep this drawing for uh, a later purpose uh, that will be revealed to you at some point in time. Uh, but today, and in the next session as well, we're simply going to spend our time uh, going around and uh, adding details to the buildings, adding interesting stuff in the alleyways, it's fit for school, graffiti is fine, uh, adding some, uh, maybe some chimneys to some of the buildings, and just generally uh, bumping it up from being just a drawing of a city to being uh, a piece of artwork that uh, has a message in it that uh, we are trying to communicate to people. <clears throat> now, uh, I was saying that in previous sessions that there ha needs to be a theme for this project, and what I've come up with, at least for my theme, is the idea of all of the various jobs that I have had in my lifetime, all the m employment I've had. And there are not enough buildings in this town to represent every job I've ever had. <clears throat> However, uh, I started with the oldest one that I ever had, and in this case, it's uh, I was a newspaper delivery uh, uh, boy. I had a paper route when I was a child, and so uh, I put that in the windows there. And so I'm going to continue working on this because I want people to know that this is a newspaper place right here. Okay, uh, so. Um, I'm going to have to label that somehow, and I think what I'm going to need to do is put a sign in here, and this sign is going to start out as an ellipse, right like this, so, and then I'll probably just work on the door a little bit, and I'll declare that this part is done, and I'll move on to my next building. Okay, so I'm trying to make an ellipse, very much like the windows across the street right here so elliptical or oval shaped and uh, when I finally get the oval I'm looking for there I'm going to erase away some of the trash and uh, see I want you to get things that come out look good not necessarily that look uh, you know like they were drawn really fast uh, speed really is not that important in artwork so much as it is uh, being able to do it well okay so we're going to make this a tiny little cylinder. So we're going to put a teeny little line on each side of it there. And then we're going to kind of make it look three-dimensional by putting an edge. It kind of looks like a coin. So this little surface here. And some people draw ovals like this and they turn them into clocks. But that little surface here looks like it protrudes from the wall a bit. Now in the middle of this we're going to uh, put a, just right dead in the middle of it, a lazy C reverse lazy C that is not very large at all and then we're going to draw a line that protrudes out a bit maybe just clears the alleyway just a bit and then we're going to slow lower our ruler down a bit and we're going to do the same thing again a line that protrudes out and then on the end of this, I think we should probably just put a little orb circle representing that it's got a literal end to it right there. Now, there's parts of this we need to erase away because uh, this uh, pole that is uh, protruding from the front of the building there is also going to have a sign hanging on it. Now, since this sign uh, is hanging straight down toward us, we really don't have to foreshorten anything. So I'm simply going to uh, kind of rough it in here at first with a little marking like this and then out here as well. And you could even put, you know, addresses on your uh, buildings as well that may mean something, you know, like the year that you had that job or something. Uh, but that would, you know, only be if you've been employed, and you would, that's what my theme is. Yours could be something like favorite vacations, uh, each one of these buildings, I've seen it done many times, uh, some sort of the, the Olympian gods, I saw that uh, numerous times, 
I've seen uh, Harry Potter uh, stuff. I've seen, you know, uh, all types of crazy themes uh, to this piece of artwork over the years. Uh, so as long as it's fit for school, your theme is not so important to me as it is that you are making a piece of artwork. But the theme is what you're trying to communicate, so that it is important in that respect, and it also gives your um, re your drawing a reason to actually exist. Okay, so here we are. I've got my sign hanging out into the street, uh, and so what am I going to put on that sign? I think uh, the actual um, name of the newspaper that I. Uh, used to deliver and uh, let's see that could be the journal Herald I guess that was my very first job so I call it will just write in here the Dayton because it was from Dayton Ohio Okay, so it was the Dayton, and then it was the Journal, J-O-U, J-O-U Journal, R, and, wow, I've got to really work to get all that in here, Dayton Journal, that's an A. Dayton Journal Herald was the name of the paper that I delivered. Delivered Monday through Saturday. We didn't have a Sunday paper. Isn't that funny? Huh. Yeah, that was a long time ago. But I tell you what, man, I had some, uh, mornings when it was just raining cats and dogs and I uh, just had to get out there and deliver those papers anyway. Okay, so we got the Dayton Journal and Herald. We've got a, a window. Uh, maybe we'll just say that this is open. I'm going to put a sign right here in this door. And it's going to be shaped a lot like the window that it hangs in. Okay, so, and our business, of course, here is open. And you can see the letters tilt a little bit because they everything really does slant towards the vanishing point. So you really need to kind of embrace that idea. I think I need to make my sign just slightly longer because the letter N's falling off the end of it there. So that means I'm going to have to do a little bit of customized fixing up here. If my, my sign is longer, that means my cord that it hangs on needs to be slightly longer too. So we'll put that about right here and we'll... So it's open. Open for business. Okay. The Dayton Journal Herald. A great paper, but I think it eventually uh, became part of the Dayton Daily News. So. A place you can go in there. Alright, so I'm going to declare that building done. So my first job is out of the way there. Oh got too old to be a paper boy after a while. So I think I'm going to, let's see, just go across the street and figure out what the other one is. Hmm. That's a good question. So my next job, I, I think I was probably a bus boy uh, at a restaurant. Boy, that was a terrible job, too. Um, so I think one of these has to be the restaurant and so I'm thinking it's going to be maybe this one 
and this restaurant was called oh man it was called Park Row <laughs> and man was it a crazy restaurant that was a long time ago so I think what I'll just do is right up here now we got what P A R K so we want it to be spaced out evenly so that would be here and here and let's see right here as well so I started to letter it in and that wasn't a good idea because I didn't have it laid out properly so now that I've got my four uh, letters set up here I can go ahead and start lettering it out so the park row it was a it was an awesome restaurant the food was great um, some of the people I worked with were really neat some of them were crazy uh, so it was a uh, an experience there I, I think I worked there until I was like 18 years old from the time I think I was 15 until I was 18 and then that's when I graduated from high school and went off and got into the military so Danielle's Park Row it was once called the Carriage House if you're a uh, parents or your grandparents ever been out into Kettering uh, near Wilmington Pike and uh, Patterson Road it would be on the north side of Patterson Road I think now there's something else there like a Tim Hortons or something they tore it all down I think there's still the bank that was next door is still there and all the little shops across the street are still there but uh, it's a uh, it's been gone for some time but it was a neat restaurant, met a lot of interesting people. Uh, one of my friends who I still uh, see frequently now is uh, was a busboy there as well uh, with me. I said, you never know, uh, the people that you meet at a job like being a busboy, you might end up uh, becoming friends with them and seeing them for a long, long time. So the Park Row. It was a French restaurant, by the way. We had to wear ties and a little gold-colored jacket uh, and uh, walk around and fill people's water up and clear off tables and deliver food out to the dining room for the waitresses and uh, endure a lot of abuse. <laughs> so the Park Row, it was a good place to kind of learn how to get along in the workplace and so the park row has got what row r-o-w three letters and so we're going to divide our our sign off into three letters here I'm going to slant it a little bit so we know where the top and bottom of the letters is and the park row took a few people there over the years when I was younger to to eat dinner When I think out with my wife's um, family, uh, her parents and my parents, uh, she and I went to the Park Row while it was still there. It used to be a comedy uh, place across the uh, comedy club across the street too, and so we would go there after we had eaten our dinner and watch a show. And pretty funny. <laughs> Saw some good comics there. Maybe I need to work on my letter W there a little bit, make it a little bit lower. Okay, that looks a little bit better. I'm going to work on my O, so it's a little more symmetrical. Looks like it's pasted to the front of the building instead of flying off the front of the building. Park row. There was a uh, big parking lot behind it where we had to park our cars. It was right out by the dumpsters, and boy, did it stink out there. But at the end of the evening, you'd go home, and hopefully, you, sometimes you get tips from customers. Sometimes you would get um, the uh, waitresses would tip you if you'd been working hard for them. So sometimes you'd go home with some cash. Other times you'd just go home and be happy you were done. Sometimes you weren't done at that job till, man, till like really late at night. Taking out trash, cleaning tables, 
getting set up for the next day's launch. Oh, sorry about that, kids. <laughs> Crashing into my gear here. It's one of the uh, one of the pitfalls of having to work from home. All right, the Park Row. Oh man, that was a French restaurant. I wonder what I could uh, put in the next windows there. Uh, Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, if I was 15, I graduated in 1981, so I'd probably be 1979, I guess, is uh, when that would have been. I'm going to put that right here. 79. Maybe 80. 80. 79, 80. I'll say this is 1, 9. Seven. Says the year I worked it. I started working at this place. All right. Fancy the numbers there, huh? Okay, 1979 Main Street. I guess I'll call it that. <clears throat> and then over here, man, this would have been uh, back when I was uh, 10 years old, so it would have been 1973 or 74, so this would be 1974, I'm going to call it that. Because you have to have odd numbers on one side of the street and even numbers on the other side. Nineteen seventy four. Man, I can barely remember back that long ago. Ladies and gentlemen. It's been forever ago. Seems like forever. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see, what else? So the park row, I should probably maybe since this is a restaurant of of sorts, I could probably put in some curtains here, couldn't I? Maybe a table by the window or something. Same thing down here. And maybe the little valance that goes across here. Some, uh, something to tie it back right here. Another one over here. Another one right here. One over tie back again. Same, same. Some pleats. Ooh, forgot about my the lots there. It covers up your things like the curtain rods. Okay, and some more pleats, pleats, and pleats. Now, the thing is, do we have a. We are looking kind of down into this a bit, aren't we? No, we aren't really. I'm going to leave it alone. Can't get it overcomplicated. Uh, okay, let's see. What else can we do here? I think it's time to maybe move on to another building. So after I was done with the Park Row, what did I do? I was in a... I started my work in the military, but I also went to college as well. So when I worked at college, what did I do? Well, I did work uh, for um, the Disabled Student Services Division for a while. I also worked in the Art History Department as an Art History uh, Slide Librarian. That was fascinating work. So I think what I'll do <coughs> is I'll go with that. And that was in 1986, I believe. So, I'm going to, up here, I'm going to write in uh, what it was. And it was the Art History Library, Art History Department. So, uh, I was a senior in college. Okay, A, A, R, T. <laughs> so, i got to make sure I get the right, the right stuff going here. So, if I split this into three of these... 
uh, I think I'll just say DEPT, okay, for department. So I can slide this in here and here, and I'll put that in here. And then let's see, art department. S L I D E S. That's six letters. Maybe I ought to stay that for down here somewhere. I'll just leave that window open for right now. So, um, divide this up a little bit so our letters all are equal and symmetrical. So, this is the art department. This is, I guess, one of my first uh, jobs in, in art was I was a um, one of the few people who had uh, taken art history, they uh, had this job that was being advertised, and you had to be somebody who knew art history and had taken art history, but you also had to be somebody who knew how to use a computer at the same time. And it, they, uh, a lot of people applied for this job, but I was the only one uh, that had a background in art history and also had been taking computer courses and I was taking these computer courses back in good lord this was like 1984 when I was taking the computer courses but I got this job in 1986 um, and so I had already done that but these uh, computer courses were just crazy and I did that so that I didn't have to take a foreign language and now I wish I would have taken the foreign language to be completely honest uh, that could really, that would really be helpful. But I had taken these computer courses, and uh, as a result of that, I got this job, and uh, it was a pretty neat job. I spent my whole day looking at uh, slides and pictures of artwork and cataloging them into the art department computer. And so maybe I'll draw a little picture of a computer down here. So. Uh, I guess that was my first job in the arts, and it wasn't making art. I had to figure out a way to catalog thousands of slides and pictures uh, so that they could be looked up on the department catalog and used in uh, classes. So sometimes this is really kind of a... Uh, interesting exercise for me because I sometimes have forgotten what my job was. And that was a pretty good job. But what happened was I graduated from college and uh, I couldn't keep that job anymore. In fact, it might have been 1985 when I got the job, but then I graduated in 1986. So that's probably more accurate. Boy, did I have other jobs going on at the same time. When you're in college, you've got to scramble to make money. You've got bills to pay. Okay, let's uh, kind of touch up that. The art department. Okay. Alright, so. Now, I don't know what your theme is, but... You know, you could be following a, a similar setup to the way I'm doing this. Uh, so if it was like your favorite uh, vacation spot you've ever been to, well, then each of the buildings could be one of those vacation spots that you really enjoyed. Um, if it's a... If you have some sort of a festival going on in your town, well, each of these buildings can represent uh, like a motel where the... Uh, or a uh, convention center or something like that. So you can have all of these uh, buildings all involved in whatever your festival is. If it's the circus coming to town, well, uh, same thing. Or it could be just a depiction of your actual hometown uh, or the street you live on. Uh, and each one of these could be your neighbor's houses, even though they don't really look like houses, but that, wouldn't, that would still be a good thing. Um, so, okay, so the art department. I worked for the art department. I want to say that was in 1985, probably at the end of 1985 and the beginning of 1986. So I'm going to put a marking down here.
1985. Huh. So long ago. Been out of high school for a few years at that point. Met the young lady that I would eventually marry at that point. Uh, was trying to get out of, had just been commissioned in the military back in 1984. That might have to be in one of these buildings here soon. But I joined uh, in 1981 when I was still a senior in high school. Okay, so let's see. Mm, the art department. Maybe what I can do is show down here. something going on inside this place. So maybe this is the computer. Okay. Oh, and those computers were, were really old. <laughs> when you they weren't like a laptop or nothing. They were really old. Huh. Uh, maybe I can come up with something else. See I'm trying to overcomplicate it. I should just uh Department Library. I think I, I wonder if I can just go L I B. Oh, Art Department Media. M E D I A. Yeah. Okay. That's what we did. We we're really a media center. We weren't really a library. And that's what it was. Okay, so now I need my card here, so I'm gonna smudge this up. I'm just gonna write in media. Since I did, figured out how many letters I had to have, I divided up my box or my signage. So, and my theme, which is all the weird jobs I've had in my life, I'm getting my signs in, and that's really starting to help communicate my message at least. So, I'm hoping that your uh, words are very powerful when it comes to communicating messages especially to the literate groups. That means people who can read well. They need words for all types of things. So it gives you a reference, too, and that's a good thing to if you're trying to be understood. So, art department, media. Okay, this is working for me here. Let's put a little capital I. And then we'll put a A down here. At the very end. That's okay, so yeah, we had all types of things in our media center. We had uh, uh, books, slides, uh, posters, and uh, uh, all types of just pictures, you know, uh, large scale uh, posters of a lot of artwork. So, um, photographs, but at the time, you really couldn't store photographs on computers yet. Back in the day, they hadn't figured out how to do that. And so we had to have them on what we call slides, uh, emulsion slides that you can actually look through. I'm going to get rid of my little capital and footer there on my letter I. It seems to be kind of throwing off the spacing a bit. And that way I can just maybe make my upright just focus on that and make it a little bit wider. Okay, so the Art Department Media Center is where I worked for a while. And we had some things um, in there like, um, maybe I should say, hmm, maybe I'll just write in there, it's the slide library or something. Hmm, what do we have? We had slides. I'll just put this here, slides.
So a lot of this can be lettering, see, to get it across. Slides, we had posters. Well, I hope we get all this in here. Alright, maybe. Might have to go back and fiddle with that a little bit. So I had slides, we had posters, we had photos, and we had books. And, of course, books. And now we should be kind of starting to slant uphill a little bit with our writing. All right. I may go back and mess with some of that lettering there a little bit, too. But I'm satisfied with it for now, so I think I'm just going to have to move on to something else. Uh, and, you know, not all this has to be really, uh, you know, uh, complicated or serious. It can be fun and whimsical, too. I, I like to put stuff in the alleyways sometimes, uh, like a sign, perhaps. Now, a sign would probably be about even with these doors, but see, the sign is square to us, meaning we're looking straight at it. Some people do this and they put like a drive-up window in the, in the portion of their alleyways and, you know, people, uh, that's a pretty common when people like put a Tim Hortons or something uh, or a, uh, sometimes I see kids make it their favorite restaurants. That's always kind of funny to see too. So, but in any, any case, this is a one-way street, that's what I'm going to say. So, I'm trying to keep it pretty simple, but I think even uh, the people that don't know much about me can get a kind of an idea of what my theme is, right? Because it says that on the you're leaving Jobs Town. This is my the jobs I've had as a as a kid over the years and also as an adult too. I haven't even got that far yet. So our one way street will be coming out this way. So don't turn down that street. You get in trouble. You might cause a crash. Alright, so we can put stuff in the alleyways like that, maybe some uh, graffiti that's uh, appropriate for school. Um, there's also some uh, you know, possibility that, you know, restaurants a lot of times are hosing down stuff in the back of their, uh, and washing out their trash cans and their bus tubs and stuff, and so we could probably actually make a, a, like some water of some sort, maybe puddling down into the street like this, and maybe running along, uh, as it, you know, ripples its way along down the street here, up against the curb, you know, so you put some little lines flowing in there so we kind of can follow it. Uh, some people put little soap bubbles in it. Uh, you could even put a trash can right here, which I might do. Ah, well, there you go. We've got a, we've got some, uh, that's the end of our session there. So, I'm happy to have gotten as far as I got today. And I'm hoping that you're making progress as well. So I'm going to make myself a bit of a cylinder here. So it looks kind of like there's a trash can sitting in the alleyway. And when it hits down here, it's got to kind of curve out a bit or it won't look right. So in, that's what I'm going to do for right now. Maybe fatten that up a bit. That trash can looks like it wants to fall over. There we go.
go. So where's my fancy eraser? I can trim that out of there. Same thing over here. Erase some of the stuff that's on the... so I can't see through the trash can, if you know what I'm saying. It should be opaque. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, yeah, alright. Let's see what we got. If we dust that off of there, that looks pretty good. Looks like it's uh, sticking out from the wall of the alleyway. Maybe it could even come out a little bit farther there, couldn't it? So it looks a little bit more realistic and three-dimensional. Okay, well, the session here for just the first uh, day of real detailing on it, full detailing there, it went pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with what I've got uh, as far as my drawing is going, so I'm hoping that you're keeping up with the instruction, and if you are, you're doing fantastic work, and so that should be reflected in your work grades. If you are struggling to keep up with this, well then you need to be honest with yourself and make sure you account for that in your working grade, but also, you know, um, don't be too self-abusive. Uh, you should uh, just be honest with yourself and then if you need to work harder to keep up that's fine if you need to pause the videos then that's what you need to do so that you can uh, make the progress as fast as you can make it but without having to you know sacrifice uh, the quality of your artwork in there all right so uh, let's see what we've developed here today so uh, I think uh, last time well, I got newspaper delivery route was all that's in there, and so I put my sign for the Dayton Journal Herald. I worked there in 1974, although I'm making it look like an address. And of course, they are open for business. Then over here in 1979, I started working as a busboy at the Park Row, and uh, that uh, there's some stuff there. Maybe they're washing out the bus tubs or something out back there, and we're getting some water flowing out there. Uh, when I was in college, I worked at the Art Department Media Center. And we, uh, we checked out slides and posters and photos and books for people, and that was in 1985. And then 1986, of course, I graduated from college, and I was out of that job. And I put a one-way street in here and some trash with some stuff flowing down the alleyway. So made pretty good progress here. And so if I can get, you know, about three buildings done each day, we've probably got about two days left on this before uh, we're going to have to call it uh, done as far as the drawing goes. And then we'll uh, consider color after that. So uh, I hope you're keeping up. If you're not, you need to work a little bit off camera time. And I will talk to you in the next session. Have a nice day.